Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube tutorial. We're going to talk about 1001fonts.com and how we can go from there to easel and by invent balls. First of all, you want to download the selected file or font, should I say. Wait for that to happen, then you go and click show folder. And then you want to have some sort of unzipping folder. I use 7-zip. So we'll go down to 7-zip. And then we go to extract here. And you look for the files that you're looking for, which is these two. You select them. And then you right click and install. And it's that simple. That's how easy it is to install fonts from 1001fonts.com. Now in Inkscape, what you want to do is you want to open up a new one and then go down to your text box, click and drag to open your text box up and then type in something. I'm just going to type in YouTube Demo by Lothian Woodworks. select that and then go up to this little box here click down arrow and then find the font that you want which I'm using you can find it uh, it is there now we'll go across here and then you want to Resize it if you want, or that's all you need to go object to path. And that changes it from text to path, which is recognizable in Inventables. And then select it all again, and you can resize it now. And you can change it so it's just the outside lines, it's probably easier. And save. I was trying to sell it, so I've already got one there, so I'll just replace it. And then we go to Inventables and Import SVG. Click my demo, open, and there it is there. And now it's just a case of playing about with the settings within Inventables itself. Um, for some reason, it was down at 12mm deep there. Um, and I think it's one eighth of an inch bit that it's saying, so we'll change that in a second as well. It's all about finding the right settings for yourself. I hope this has helped, um, and I hope that this has cleared things up for you a little bit. Thanks for watching.